this video we are going to see how we can change the default layout of our .NET 8 Blazor server project. So we have opened Visual Studio 2022. So we will create a new project. So here we need to select Blazor web app. Click on next. And let's. So we have this Blazor app one on this location. Click on next. And we have selected .NET 8. Click on create. So what this will do is it will create a default project. So here we have this entire structure of Blazor server web app. So in the components we can see we have a main layout and in the pages we have different pages like counter, home and weather. So let's run it. So when we run this project, what we get is we get a default layout. So if we go and see the project in the main layout, we see we have this navigation menu on the left hand side. Then we have this uh, link and then we have the body. So inside the body, what we can see is that we can see the default page, the home page, which is getting loaded here. If I click on counter, the same counter page gets loaded. And if I click on weather, the weather component gets loaded. So this is the default layout. Suppose I have a requirement where we don't want this default layout. We want simply a page and we don't want this left uh, left hand side header and the footer and the side menu. So in that case, what we need to do is simply we need to create a another layout. So we need to add a new razor component. So I'll name it as login layout or we, yeah login layout we can call it and click on add and I'll just copy this login layout file go on this layout folder and paste it once again and I will name this as login dot razor dot css so this kind of alert will come. We just click on yes. So here we will get this login layout.razor.css in, in case we need to add some CSS for this layout. Next, I'll go on this main.layout page and I'll copy the entire code. Go in this login layout and simply paste it here. So what I will do is I'll remove this error occurred. Then I'll remove this about and I'll remove this side menu. What I will leave is I will leave only the main article and the main component layout page. So here in this pages, I will add a new component, add a razor component and I will name it as login, login.razor. Click on add. So it will simply add this login razor. Here I will add a H1 tag. Welcome to login page. And if we go on this home component, we'll see this page slash. So that slash I'll add it here because I want the login page to be the first page which is getting launched when the application starts. So and in the home dot razor, I'll simply name it as slash home. OK, now if we see this. Uh, home dot razor and login dot razor there is no difference in both of these pages so by default the layout which is getting implemented on all the pages is this main layout okay this is getting called if you go on this app dot razor and this routes dot razor here you will see that the layout the default layout is main layout but we want i want the main layout to be implemented the login layout to be implemented only for the login page. So in that case, what I have to do is I have to go on this login page and inject the inject. We have to add the login layout here. So I'll add at the rate layout and I'll go and simply type the blazor app one dot components dot 
layout dot login layout so, so what will happen is this login page will inherit the login layout instead of the default layout so here on this login page i'll simply add a button so here i have added the button so it's simply button and i have given the name login type on click of this button i need to navigate to the home page so for that i'll add navigation manager So here I have injected the navigation manager and inside this code section I will add a on click method for this login check. So here I have created a simple login check method. So on click of this button what will happen is from this login page we will navigate to the home component. So let's run this page first. So initially when we started this project the main component the default component was home this home dot razor as it was having the slash as the route where we have changed the slash to home and instead we have made this login dot razor as the default uh, login uh, default component and for this login dot razor what we have done is we have implement uh, changed the default layout to login dot layout so let's run it Okay, so here you can see we are getting this login component as the initial component and suppose this is the login page when user clicks on login we will navigate to the after authentication we can go to the dashboard page. So here it is when we click on login we are navigated to the inside the dashboard page and we have the side menu. So this is how uh, it looks like. So here we go on this weather counter and this one. So here the counter we have the weather like this one. Okay, so in here in this video, we have seen how we can change the default layout. So that was it in this video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.